Hello, and thank you for choosing Race Management Solutions to provide timing and finish line services for your event. I'm Paul Beatty, and today I'd like to give you a few quick tips for editing your custom It's Your Race online event page. One of the great benefits of working with a Jaguar timer is that you now have access to the very best event management platform in the industry. It's Your Race offers an easy sign up and setup process, custom event web pages, the ability to manage everything from one convenient dashboard. They also offer free mobile apps, searchable results, custom certificates, free snapshot finish line photos, sponsor recognition, fundraising, and much more. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to easily edit text, upload photos, and insert hyperlinks within your custom event page. So let's get right to it. The first thing you'll need to do is go to itsyourrace.com and log in to your previously created account. Your email address is your user ID and you set up a unique password when you originally set up the account. There is a forgot password option if needed. Once you're logged in, select the My Account button in the upper right hand corner and click on Manage Events. You're now in Your Events. Scroll down and select the event you wish to manage. Since we time multiple events, there are many races to choose from, but most of you probably manage a single event and will only have one choice. For today, I'm going to scroll down and select Grassroots Gardens 5K and 10K and then press Manage. Now that you're logged in to manage your event, let me show you how easy it is to edit text, insert pictures, and add hyperlinks. To begin with, I always like to start by clicking on the event URL button shown here. As you can see, a new tab will open, allowing us to view the actual event page. I find this helpful because I like to toggle back and forth between the two tabs and view my edits each step of the way. Let's start by making a change to some part of the text found on your It's Your Race custom event page. For example, let's pretend that for some reason I typed Saturday when I created this text and I meant to put Sunday. The race is on a Sunday. Well, easy enough to do. We go back to It's Your Race, select the Event Settings tab from the left margin, scroll down. You'll notice two text box, an upper and a lower. The upper text box represents the main body of the text here where you see the Grassroots Garden logo. And the lower text box where you see the USATF logo represents the right margin. All right, so we're going to be working within the main body of the event page. So I'm going to stretch this out a little bit, give myself a little more space to work. Here's the word I wish to change, Saturday. I want to change it to Sunday. All right, once that's done, I simply scroll down, press the Save Details button at the bottom of the page. Let's go view that live, press the Reload button, and here it is, Sunday. June 16. All right, next, let's see how you insert a picture. All right, so for today, let's pretend we want to uh, insert another picture between these two paragraphs. Again, quite simple to do. We'll go back out to the event settings page, right back to that same text box. Scroll down to the location where we want to place the picture. I'll enter a couple times to put some space there. I'm going to center it to match the upper picture, and now I'm going to go use the uh, Photo Manager, Image Manager feature, and upload a photo. So here's a picture. Press Upload. All right, this one has already been uploaded, but here it is in my library. Before you press Insert to put it into the uh, body of the, the um, event page, what I like to do, and you should always do actually, is click the Properties tab and look at the size of the image. Oftentimes you'll import a picture that's several thousands of pixels wide or high. It's just too big for the event page. In fact, sometimes it won't even let you upload it if it's too big and you might have to resize it before uploading. But um, I recommend a width of about 500, or, or I use 500 actually, for um, this part of the event page. If you wanna change it or you need to change it, Always make sure you click on this link button so that it uh, constrains the proportions and um, uh, keeps the height and width um, uh, 
constrained properly. So we'll insert it as such. Here it goes, looks good. Be sure to press the Save Details button, and now let's take a peek. Uh, when you first click on the page, it's not there, but once you press the Reload button, you'll notice it appears, and so that's live. All right, and finally, let's say we want to create a hyperlink within the text. All right, so we're going to go right back to the same uh, text window. Find the text you want to make into the hyperlink. It can also be a picture too, but for today, I'll just do it with this text right here. Select it. The hyperlink manager up at the top, the right button will remove a link if one exists, but we're going to go to the manager uh, function and where their, uh, the URL box is, you can go out to uh, find the site you wish to link it to, copy that um, entire uh, address, and paste it in here. Click OK. Uh, you'll notice it's now underlined and the color has changed. Uh, if the color does not match your theme, obviously you can come in here and you know pick whatever color you want. Again, make sure you press Save Details. And when we go out and view this live, press Reload. And here it is. Here's your hyperlink. And it takes us right where we wanted it to. Now there it goes. And so I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I'm working on several other videos designed to help you take full advantage of the many great features and benefits found within the It's Your Race platform. Thanks for choosing Race Management Solutions, and good luck with your editing.